Hey you guys, it's the second week of December. Can you believe it? Christmas is gonna be here before we're ready, I'm thinking. So sit back and let's have some fun with some Tom Ford eyeshadow. excited to be trying out the eyeshadow quad from Tom Ford, a complimentary palette I received from Influencer. And I have to say, if you guys don't know about Influencer, it's I-N-F-L-U-E-N-S-T-E-R. Anybody can participate. And it's kind of this huge form where they send you products literally from beauty, hair, dog food, uh, nutrition, literally anything that you're into, travel and leisure, like a ton of stuff. And you just kind of sign up and as you review things that you've tried already, you can get into these things called Vox boxes. And so this is the Vox box that I just got from Influencer and it happened to be Tom Ford, which I'm super excited about because I've never tried his shadows. So I thought this is a great time to be reviewing Tom Ford on an episode here on my YouTube channel because I mean, why wouldn't you want to review it? It's $88. Is it worth it? I don't know. I probably wouldn't go out and buy it if I've never tried it. So I'm glad I received this. Before we get started, you gotta hit, make sure you hit that subscribe button, please. I'm almost to a thousand. It would be a nice little Christmas gift if I could reach that before the new year. So this is the quad that we're talking about. It's called Nude Dip and it has four beautiful colors. Ones that honestly I will use. I, I'm so pleased with the color selection that I received. That's something you don't get to choose. So I'm super happy about that. Super excited to try them on. And it even has like this beautiful little sleeve that if you're traveling, you just put it in here like so to keep it nice and safe so that's kind of nice or even if you just store it you know you're not going to use it every day unless you don't have any other shadows but i kind of do so um nice little storage bag for it and it comes with four colors and they say it's funny because when i was looking at the finish like when you look at them they look exactly the same so believe it or not there are four finishes here it's sheer sparkle, satin, shimmer, and matte. And like I was saying before, like if you were to look at them, they literally, they look all the same type of finish. So I'm not the best watcher, as you guys already know, that have seen my past videos, but I wanted to show you what they look like. So this is the four colors. They're very, very soft. And you can tell that this last one is a matte. So the other ones, I mean, sheer sparkle, satin, and shimmer. I'm assuming that this one is satin, shimmer, and the sheer sparkle. That's just my guess. But um, there they are, very, very soft. Now, I was reading on Tom Ford. I was reading on uh, Sephora where they sell Tom Ford. I just wanted to get like different takes and descriptions of the product that the uh, companies have. And they have a pro tip on Sephora that in the quads, not all of them have the Tom Ford logo. Like you see here, it has TF. The ones with TF actually can be wet for more of a bold look. And then when the ones without obviously you can't wear wet. So these are a dual purpose. If you want like a bolder look, you can wear them or wet your brush or wet your, you know, it comes with, okay. Now, now that I said brushes, it comes with these little diddly dads. I mean, I guess in a pinch, I use them to swatch. Um, I guess in a pinch I would use them, not something I typically use, but they're there. Um, you can wet the tool and dip it in and get a, a, get a stronger, vibrant color. Um, the rest of the time, it's gonna be more sheer and like smoky. So I went ahead, did my makeup. Typically, I don't do my complexion prior to my, my eyes because I like to do my eyes first so then there's no fallout or, you know, where I have to redo things. But 
for the sake of time, the only thing I need to do are my eyes, my brows, and mascara. So I've been kind of looking here as Ness was setting up what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go ahead in with the lightest color. I've already got my eyeshadow base on. You can kind of see it's kind of a fleshy. It's, it's the Sigma, this one here. You guys know I like it. It kind of has like a fleshy um, tone to it. I really like that. I have dark eyelids. Right now I'm having like a little allergic reaction, so they're super red. So I wanted to use something pretty bold. So I'm, I'm hoping that that doesn't interfere with this shadow. It's something I would do anyway, so I'm gonna just go with it. So the light color here, I'm going to just place all over the lid. And I, oh, that is pretty shimmery. That's okay. I'm going to go all the way up into the brow. Okay, that's actually really pretty. More than what I thought it was going to be, honestly. So I'm going to go right in here. And sorry if if the this is just real life. If the if your, my eyes look like crepey, it's cuz they are. I don't know what's going on. They're dry and I'm, I've been having like this little allergic reaction. I'm not sure what from. So I got to figure that out. If you guys know of anything I can use on my lids to plump that area, like I don't know what's safe because that, that area is so thin. The skin is so thin on top that um, I don't want to load it up with cream because it'll irritate my eyes. So if you guys know of a product that would be good just to really moisturize, it's right in here where I'm, it's almost like peeling. So anyways, okay, enough of my little drama. So there is the first color and I like it so far. These colors in the description that I was reading, they say nothing about being bold other than when you wet the brush. So I'm not gonna expect anything more than just not a nice blendable shadow. Um, I guess the the thing that I would be looking for, reviewing, um, wanting to know, like, is it worth $88? $88 is a steep price for a quad. So um, I guess that's, yeah, I guess that's where I'm at. Like, is it really worth it? I love luxury makeup, trust me. And I will spend if I'm in love. So let's see how these work. So I'm going in, this is kind of the taupey color that I'm gonna go in with. And I'm just kind of going into the crease. I, I really, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of playing as I go here. What do you guys think of my new little mirror? Look at how cute. It's like a little pedestal mirror. It has like fake little looking diamond things. Anyways, it's magnified on one side, so I'm not even wearing contacts, which is nice. These are blending out really beautiful, which I knew, I didn't know, but I had a feeling they were going to. If you're a matte person, then you're probably not gonna like these because they're pretty shimmery. Uh, even this, I would say this is the satin one and it's got a lot of flex to it. So um, keep that in mind because if you're, if you're at all not a fan, then you wouldn't like this. You want to go matte, more matte, you know, this is not your, not your cup of tea. I like this color. I like it up into the crease. That's like really pretty. So I'm going to just deepen that because then I'm going to go in with the brown and I might just touch the center with the more pinky peach color that's in there. We'll see. Again, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm kind of like just seeing what I think of these, to be honest with you. So no fallout, no fallout. No fallout. That's nice. That's one thing I noticed, you know, mainly with with higher end products, the quality is, is it's just 
it's just there. It is. Okay, let's see what this brown looks like. I'm gonna go in with a smudgy brush and see, go right on this lash line and see what it looks like. Yeah, they're just soft. I wanna wet this one. I wanna wet this color. So let's try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the brush and go in. So you see what it looks like? That's it without it being wet. Let's see what it what color payoff I can get with a wet brush. So I'm just kind of wetting it. They say wet it with water. I always use um, a setting spray. So let's see. Yeah, that's pretty. So not too intense. You're just getting a, a nice color payoff. I might I might do a ring, wing with this. Okay, I'm gonna wet my brush. I have a little angled brush here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this one and see what, see what we can do with a wing right here. This will be pretty, I think. Oh yeah, what do you think? That is nice, that's just that brown shadow. So that is the matte color. And I'm just kind of going in and I'm just playing. You guys, I don't know who lives in California, but today is our first of two stay at home orders. Second time this year. What do you think? What do you think? That's actually really pretty. I'm gonna build this up and then I'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll come back and discuss. Okay, you guys, so I got the liner on and I did use these shadows. I haven't used any other th products on my eyes except for these, okay? I'm going in with like the, I wanna say this is gonna be their shimmer. It has like a warmer tone to it and I'm gonna put it just under here. It's very light, but I think I want to just kind of blend out underneath here and add, you can see some of the warmth like in the center when I go in by itself and then blend out with this brown. I think it's really, really pretty. These shadows are gorgeous. If I had not been given the opportunity to try these in a complimentary form, gift, or as I said, influencer, I was in on this. Um, I don't know if I would just go out and drop the money. You guys tell me, like, would you? I don't know, because there's a lot of great brands. You know, gosh, makeup's come so far, right? So it's like back in the day when there were just a handful of brands, you didn't have the options of something really inexpensive with quality because like the drug the drugstore brands which they've come a long way as well they just didn't they just didn't have it so you know that is a huge competition for all of these luxury brands honestly when you're talking Tom Ford Armani YSL Christian Dior their shadows are up in price they're very very good i'm not knocking that i'm just wondering can you get something comparable for half the price that's that's really the deal. Okay, I'm gonna go in. This is the Makeup by Mario. This eyeliner I'm like in love with. And I'm gonna go in just on my waterline. I try not to tug on my eye. Do you see me doing that? Usually, usually I'm in a mirror that I'm not having to hold. So let's see if I can do this. This liner goes on the waterline and I'm telling you, it doesn't budge. I don't have my contacts in right now, but when I wear them, this is a liner I can wear because it does not leave the waterline. Super, super impressed. I think this is like my favorite product. If you're not familiar with Makeup by Mario, it just launched probably, how long ago, Ness? Two months? I was gonna say month and a half maybe. Yeah. And so uh, his mattes are really, really nice. I think my favorite is this liner. You know what's so fun about makeup is that if you mess up, you can either take it off or you just add something to fix it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in 
where that corner so i i lined and now you can see that there's some of that liner got up into the shadow and it's not as crisp crisp so i'm going to just go in with this brown which is a matte and i'm going to add some color right here which i think will be fine because it will kind of blend out Oh yeah, what do you think? Okay, so I'm just going in with this brown. This is the same brown that I just used for my eyeliner, except this is the dry, just soft way to use it, or this very same color is my wing. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so I got my mascara done and my brows are on and this is the finished and complete look. Here's what I have to say. I'm almost to a thousand, so you guys need to help me. And I really love these shadows. They're beautiful, super blendable. If money is not an object or if, if you just, you like luxury brand products, I think this shadow palette is absolutely gorgeous. If you need to be more conscious, I totally understand. And that's why there's a market for everyone. So there it is. Um, nothing negative to say. Beautiful, beautiful shadows. Super blendable. Super fabulous. And I hope you have a super fabulous rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.